What's up, YouTube? So, as I discussed on Random Tuesday Thoughts yesterday, which you should go watch if you haven't yet, um, technically September is the start of year two for Throws and Brews, because I started the channel September of 2016, so September of 2017, which is right now, is the start of year two for Throws and Brews. So, for the next 12 months, I have goals. And this is basically just a little discussion of me discussing with you guys what my goals for the next 12 months are going to be. And more or less a video to keep me honest so that I can look back next year and say, okay, did I accomplish these goals or no? Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's get into the goals for the next 12 months for the Throws and Brews channel. Um, goal number one is really going to be merch. I uh, really want to do some merch this year. I'm not sure what yet, but... It's probably going to be stuff that's not glass. I really thought about doing, like, mugs and beer steins and stuff, but that stuff's going to be glass. So shipping it is always kind of, like, it's always fragile, and, and because I'd have to do the shipping, unless I could find a third party that would do it um, and ship it and stuff for me, uh, that probably wouldn't work out as great, at least not yet. So that's probably not going to be the first thing. First thing's probably going to be shirts and, I don't know, maybe something else. Uh, tell me down in the comments what else, I mean, shirts, stuff that's not breakable. I, I, I agree I would like to do mugs and stuff, um, but I think shirts are probably going to be the easiest because they don't break. And they look awesome, and then you can wear them. See, like I'm wearing this uh, G2 Wolf shirt. Shout out to my dude, G2J, for uh, these awesome shirts. Bought one of these as soon as they dropped because I love the shirt, and I love the wolf, and I like G2, so why wouldn't... Why wouldn't I buy it? It's a good shirt. So yeah, uh, that's kind of number one is merch. Uh, tell me, besides shirts, what else do you guys want? I know glasses and stuff and mugs everybody's kind of told me about, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet because they're really fragile. So Like, not really fragile, but I don't want to send you guys a box of broken glass. You know what I mean? Um, so that's sort of what, uh, that's, that's sort of where my mind is with the merch stuff. But tell me down in the comments what you think about it. Um... So that's the one, the first goal, and that's probably going to be the first thing I try to do, probably around the holidays. Um, second thing is a uh, yo-yo project. So I did uh, the throws and brews um, the last, well, I guess yeah, during the last fiscal year of throws and brews, um, we did. I did the yo-yo project. I did the uh, um, the legend wing with my logo on it that I finished and stuff, and it was great. And you guys really really brought it uh, as far as supporting that and wanting to get them and all that stuff so the next thing I really want to do is a plastic yo-yo that is probably a plastic yo-yo that you already have or you already know like think about think like a replay pro or, or like uh, a first base or something like that uh, I haven't talked to any of those companies about this directly yet but I think that's gonna be I think we're gonna switch gears as far as the next project is concerned and I think I want to do a plastic yo-yo that's unresponsive or that can be unresponsive. I don't know if I want it to just be unresponsive or if I want it to be like come responsive but come with an extra bearing or whatever. Um, but I think I want to do that and I think I want to try to work with either Recess or Yo-Yo Factory or somebody to uh, to try and work that out uh, that we can do that and maybe kind of make it even a, a, a bigger collaboration um, to bring somebody else, you know, to bring maybe uh, bring in zipline strings again. To kind of do something like that. So that's sort of my... I think we're going to put the Kendama on the back burner. And I think that's going to be the next project. So I'm going to try to work on that here uh, in the next month or so. To sort of get the ball rolling on that. See what I can do. I'll keep you updated. So keep up, keep your eyes open for that. But I think we're changing the... the I was going to do the Kendama next. I just don't think I have the Kendama reach necessarily. To do a Kendama. Particularly like a higher end one. Uh, like a 35-ish dollar kendama to, uh, I, I just don't think it would go as well as uh, if I were to do a plastic yo-yo or something that's either got my logo on it or I get them design colors for or something like that. And if that's going to be the case, I'll probably crowdsource it a little bit. I'll pick some colorways and then I'll let you guys decide which one you like the best and, and we'll go from there. Um, but we'll do, we'll do some fun stuff with that as far as all that's concerned. Um, still do want to do a kendama though. That kind of brings me to the next goal. Uh, I do want to do a kendama. With custom with Kendama custom creations uh, here in the Pittsburgh area, uh, just I, I need to I need to sort of broaden broaden my Kendama reach, I suppose is the way to say it. Uh, I want to I want to do more Kendama videos. That's another goal. I want to do more Kendama videos, and I want to get better at Kendama as well, so that 
I can put together better Kendama videos if I'm better at Kendama, and then broaden the Kendama reach a little bit, and then maybe at that point it'll be it would make sense to do a custom throws and brews and Kendama custom creations collaboration Kendama, so that we can get that out and get everybody excited. So look for more Kendama videos, and then look for Kendama collaboration as well uh, with my buddy from uh, Kendama Custom Creations. So. Uh, yeah, that's a goal as well. That will I, I want that to happen in the next 12 months for sure, absolutely. Uh, the other thing I want to do and already working on it is uh, bringing back Trick Wars, but we're going to change it up a little bit. They're not going to be as often. It's not going to be like every three weeks. It's going to be maybe once, once a month, once every other month. And I kind of want to get interesting matchups, not just YouTubers and stuff, but there will be some of that. But I want to get really interesting matchups uh, and sort of have them... Sponsored's not the right word because I'm not going to be taking any money in or there's not going to be any prizes or anything like that. But I sort of want to have people represent either their team or their company or whatever and have them sort of be part of it to sort of be like kind of a cross collaboration of like, you know, okay, well this yo-yo company has this player and this yo-yo company has this player and this... This is sponsored, not sponsored by, but this is presented to you by Throws and Brews and these other companies and what have you. So, kind of want to work on that so that we could sort of cross promote a little bit and get get it out there as and get you know some of these tricks out there as well and get some of these players out there as well because and particularly on YouTube because a lot of players have really big Instagram followings, but and then they have YouTube channels that they put a lot of work into, but they the YouTube community just isn't, like, the Yo-Yo YouTube community just isn't that big, so, uh, sort of, kind of working with Trick Wars to sort of also expand, uh, the Yo-Yo community's reach on YouTube as well, um, because that's good for me, it's good for everybody else who does YouTube stuff, so, uh, want to do that for sure, um, and already working on that, so that's gonna be a lot of fun, um, another goal, I mean, I basically, I just want to get better at Yo-Yo and Kendama, uh, I'm doing that every day, increments, little by little, uh, although I don't always see the progress, but when I watch the videos or when you guys watch the videos, like, oh man, that's a great trick, what'd you learn? I'm like, I guess I did just kind of learn that. Maybe I cleaned it up a little bit, so, uh, working on that, gotta get better at all this stuff. Uh, can't just collect everything, have to actually be able to use it and keep getting better at using it, so really, really working on that. Um, and uh, gonna, gonna really try to, to kind of bring the heat in the next 12 months, kind of up my up my yo-yo game a little bit. Uh, so, uh, huge shout out and thanks to everybody who does tutorials and stuff, because I watch them and I try really hard. So, thank you to those people who do tutorials and whatnot. Please keep those coming. I need your help. Please. This is me crowdsourcing tutorial help. Help me out, guys. Help me out. Uh, ben, Bulos, and... Uh, Sam Hicks, I'm talking to you guys. Help me out, but help me out, guys. More tutorials, please. I'm begging you. Um, so that's that. Uh, the other thing I want to do is kind of work directly, and this sort of goes along with what I want to do with Trick Wars. But I kind of want to work with more yo-yo companies, sort of not directly, but indirectly, sort of just kind of talk to them about their upcoming releases and maybe see if they want me to do reviews before they come out. I've kind of done this a little bit already. Um, and, you know, I, I generally just end up buying stuff, but I really do want to kind of broaden my reach as far as that stuff is concerned to kind of try to bring you guys some updates and some reviews and just some good looks and some just kind of good, honest first impressions of, of yo-yos before they come out, uh, if I can, at least to the best of my ability. I can't always buy every yo-yo as it comes out while, you know, I do have a full-time job, you know, yo-yos aren't necessarily that expensive when you're an adult with a full-time job, but can't spend $200 a week on yo-yos, it just doesn't work out, and a lot of yo-yos come out sometimes, and it's like, oh good. Um, so, there's that. Uh, so I'd like to work, start working with companies a little more closely uh, to sort of get uh, get stuff before it comes out, uh, especially newer companies. There's a lot of new companies just trying out their new thing. Dizzy Yo-Yo Customs coming to mind. Um, he's putting out a great product that he's actually got a... Uh, Indiegogo up for you can get it at a discount, so you should really check that out. Uh, it's yeah, whatever. I'll link it down in the in the description of this video, but stuff like that. Um, so you know, that's going to be a goal for this year to kind of try to do more of that type of stuff and um, 
just kind of keep you guys informed and you know work with stuff like I work with SW Randall and that's great um, and and just kind of keep keep up with with that sort of stuff so uh, really you know I appreciate everybody that's worked with me before and uh, looking to expand upon that a little bit this year so I can bring you guys more great content but I also have to step up the quality of the videos a little bit if we're gonna work with some of the bigger companies or some of the other companies they're gonna want some uh, some some good looking videos with some high quality audio and I'll probably have to edit out my ums and ahs a little more but we'll see how that goes so that's another goal um, as far as personal channel goals uh, I'd like to hit 5k subs this year we hit 1500 in the first 12 months we can get to 5,000 sub subscribers by September of next year that would be phenomenal and that's that's really uh, you know kind of an ongoing thing growth is good uh, I really like channel growth it's fun that's kind of what I do this for is channel growth but I like you guys and I think 5k subs would be a great goal to hit so gotta aim high shoot for the stars 5k subs by this time next year I think would be great and uh, so that's just a personal goal for me I'm gonna shoot for that I'm gonna keep trying to bring awesome content so that you guys do want to like and subscribe and come back and watch more videos so that's on me but thank you guys for all your support with that one uh, in addition to that at some point I would really hope that this channel within the next year can pay for itself as of right now a lot of this stuff comes out of my pocket when I do giveaways when I do what when I do you know when I buy things for the channel microphones and what have you a lot of that most of that comes out of my pocket and you know it's not comes out of my pocket like it comes out of YouTube revenue like my YouTube revenue is pretty pretty low uh, I put a lot more cash into this channel than I've got back out in YouTube revenue I'd kinda like for those scales to even out um, at least have the channel be able to pay for itself so that I want if I take a trip to a contest or something I'm just using the YouTube revenue or revenue from merchandise or whatever to go to a contest or if I buy a new camera or something I'm using revenue for that or if I even if I buy yo yo-yos particularly are what I'd really like to be able to you know when I buy a yo-yo I'd like to buy it with channel revenue not cash from my day job that you know I have to pay my bills and mortgage and stuff with so that's sort of a goal for the next year too is to have the channel sort of pay for yo-yoing for me so that would be awesome and uh, I'm hoping to hit that we're not there yet but uh, working on it a lot closer than I was a year ago so uh, that's uh, that's definitely a goal but uh, Anyway, guys, let me know down in the comments what do you think about my goals for this year? Are they attainable? Am I crazy? Um, really appreciate everybody's uh, love and support over the last year. Uh, keep that up, guys, because uh, you're great, and thank you. I really, really, really love it, and I really appreciate it. So uh, I will keep doing that stuff, and uh, going to more or less, uh, you know, just keep plugging along. Oh, a uh, huge shout-out also to uh, my man Jeremy Park from Zipline Strings. Um, the last year wouldn't have been anywhere near as cool without him and all his support and just being able to work with him. So definitely want to keep working with uh, Zipline Strings in the following year, coming up with some cool custom small run stuff uh, with Jeremy. We've already been brainstorming a little bit about some stuff. And, uh, you know, definitely want to keep doing stuff with him and keep uh, exp helping expand what he's doing and uh, helping expand myself in the process. So well, that'll be the, uh, the, the final goal for this video is help uh, you know help out with zipline as, as best as I can and uh, throw support to my buddy Jeremy because um, my dudes awesome and uh, zipline strings are awesome too and uh, I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be nearly as far as I am without his help and support uh, so huge shout out to him and uh, let's have another good year in the next 12 months uh, as we did last year maybe even better who knows Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Tell me, leave me a comment too. Tell me what you think. Um, but thanks again, guys. Cheers. I'll see you next time.